live at 6. Hi, I'm Lexi Ratterman, and this is your NC12 News Minute for Wednesday, March 18. A security breach in the health insurance provider Anthem has many WKU employees worried about their tax returns. Anthem is the third-party administrator to the university's self-funded health insurance program. The breach has affected 80 or more WKU dependents. The university's human resources and information technology departments are working to investigate what they are referring to as a highly sophisticated cybercrime. If you experience a fraudulent tax return, report this immediately to human resources. For additional information, visit WKU's website. WKU announced it has joined a new initiative to bring healthier food to campus. The university is now part of the Kentucky Proud Farm to Campus program. The Kentucky Agriculture Commissioner presented the certificate to President Gary Ransdell in a ceremony at the Student Union on Monday. The goal of the program is to get locally grown food onto campus menus. The Commissioner says the initiative will not only provide healthier food, but also strengthen the local economy. You've got a product now in your dining services that you can trace back to the local family farm, so it's a win-win for the university and for the family farmers. Multiple local farms were featured at the Fresh Foods Company on Monday. WKU is the 10th university to join the Farm to Campus initiative. It's March Madness, baby, and the president is getting in on the action. President Obama revealed his NCAA tournament bracket yesterday, picking none other than the University of Kentucky to win it all. The president says the Wildcats are no doubt a probable favorite with their 34-0 perfect record. But don't mistake the president for a sports analysis just yet. He hasn't picked the correct national champion since 2009 when he picked North Carolina to take the title. That's your News Minute for today. For News Channel 12, I'm Lexi Ratterman.